everybody how's it going um so i was heading to the house after work um and caleb asked me to get him some pipe end things <laughs> from the plumbing department and i was like you know what this would be a good time to get some of the cleaning supplies that people have suggested for the tile in the basement so let's take a look and see what all they've got i've got definitely gotten a lot of suggestions so i'm going to try to get everything i can all right so first of all i see like a deck scrubber so i'm gonna oh my god that hurt they're like stuck together ouch um definitely had some suggestions for this and i'm sure that we have a stick that we can screw into that like for like a paint pole or something so i think that that'll work definitely had a suggestion for that couple okay and i had a few suggestions to get a bucket and mop like this but that is 40 dollars, and i am cheap so <laughs> i'd rather just get like a traditional mop let's see hmm oh 10.97 <laughs> okay definitely had some magic eraser suggestions so let's go ahead and grab that the music's really loud in this corner so if this gets claimed i'm gonna be really mad <laughs> All right, and we got the barkeeper's friend. Give this a try. All right, I'm gonna get some of these guys so that I don't have to use so many darn paper towels. Microfibers, and I can just wash these. I'm just a little hesitant about washing, you know, stuff from the house in our washing machine where we wash our clothing. <laughs> but I don't know, it should be fine. I'm just a little bit of a germaphobe. Okay, and the Flitz folks commented and said to get some brass wool. Um, so there's a bit of steel wool down here. I'm not seeing brass wool. Maybe it's in another place in the store. Yeah, I don't see it over here with everything like that. Okay, and Caleb has asked me to get him some caps like these, just like that, in one inch and one and a half inch. So one and a half inch. I don't know, but the the, uh, the yellow one is like the one inch it looks like. No caps. Oh, there's one and a half cap. That's nice. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Ooh, quite large. Golly. Is that the right thing? That seems awfully big. Yeah, that's right. All right, so yeah, I found the one inch galvanized steel cap, and he said black iron would work for a one inch. So, that's a plug. Holy cow, y'all. Why is everything so hard right now? Okay, so gosh, it was so, so loud in that store. So I put the other towels back and got these because these were $2 cheaper and then they felt like there was more in there. It doesn't say how many are in here, but it says two pounds. So I'm assuming there's more in there. I don't know. And then I got the mop. So it does its own little squeezy. You just have to, you know, drag it up and then wring it out. And then I got this big old bucket for water so that, uh, I don't have to like change the water so much if I had a smaller bucket. And then I got the magic erasers, the barkeeper's friend, the deck scrubber. And I found the TSP. I'm a little scared to handle that because it said it's like an eye and skin irritant and stuff. And it's just in a little cardboard box, like a thin one, you know, like what am I thinking of? Like powdered sugar would be in or like baking soda. So I don't really want to handle it too much. Oh, darn. I forgot to buy more gloves. Anyways. Um, so yeah, um, I think I'm going to do that video, like revisiting the tile floor, um, probably this weekend or next week. Um, I would like to do it today, but I have plans around six and it's two right now. I still got to get up there. I just, and I don't want to get dirty since I'm going straight from it, straight from the house to uh, my plans. So yeah, let's head up to the house and see what Caleb's doing. All right, so just got here and Caleb is cleaning the, uh, the GE monitor top fridge and put the door on. Look at that. It was dirty before. <laughs> and all the corrosion comes off the metal fridges. Are you using a steel wool? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Can I open the door? Why don't you open the door and I can show. Well, this hinge here had a spring on it. Mm -hmm. There's a foot pedal here that you're supposed to be able to push it when I open it. And it would open it all the way. You can see it's trying, yeah, but you there's can not hear enough it. spring pressure. Oh, okay. And it's still a bit dirty. So we gotta clean the inside of this mamma jamma. 
yeah. Let me clean it. Okay. Okay. Let's clean it. Oh, we got the screws from a friend because we didn't have screws. Mm. Uh, we found a guy online that. that Hi, John. Stuff. This Hello. is John, everybody. Hi, guys. That's, oh, that's hey, Caleb's dad. Here's the formal introduction. Hey. Caleb's dad, John. Howdy. Howdy. Sorry for the lighting. It's dark in the hallway, so my flash popped on. I'm going to clean it. Stop. I'm going to clean it. You better get over here and do it, then. Okay, hang on. <laughs> Alrighty, so I just cracked this open to see. I wanted to count how many were in here. <laughs> so there's 23 in here. Um, they don't have the nice, like, edges, like, sewn edges. They're just cut. Sorry, I was looking at it in my uh, closer up. So they don't have the nice cut edges like the other ones do, but this was two bucks cheaper and there's 23 of them and I bet that they won't, the other ones wouldn't last forever anyways. They're just going to get nasty even after washing. So you get a couple different kinds. This one's like double-sided. So this one's got like a microfiber side and then like a smoother side. And then this one, this blue one has like lines in it. So I guess that might be good for scrubbing. So let's get to going on that fridgy fridge. Okay, sorry if the lighting's a little crazy. It's an overcast day, and uh, I've got a light here because the, the hallway's dark. You guys know that. Um, so I've got a little light here, and it's pretty bright. As you can see, like the shadow on my face, it's a very bright little light, so I'm gonna try not to blind myself. Um, and this is my solution for y'all not knowing where I work. Not ready to let y'all know that yet. <laughs> Maybe when I don't work there anymore. I just, I'm just afraid. I don't mind people coming to see me there. I'm just afraid that um, if somebody decides they don't like me, that they'll go on there and leave bad reviews like Kim's an awful server she was rude she you know she slapped me in the face and told me to get out I'm just you know I'm just scared about you know stuff like that so maybe one day but the only thing the only complaint I have about these is that they're really staticky but I guess that's just microfiber cloths but so here's the door Caleb told me not to get this uh, sticker wet up here so I'm not gonna touch it he kind of did the top here and I was like stop cleaning I want to do it um so I'm gonna clean this all off and then the inside. So let's go. Okay, so working on this side here, um, some of this like seal started to like flake off. It's very old and brittle, of course. It's almost 100 years old. So kind of went gently on that. I'm gonna go, go over this real quick now that I see it better in the light. But it is going to get restored next month, I do believe. So they'll probably clean it up anyways. I just wanna see it looking nice. And Caleb got, you know, put a little little wild hair about cleaning this thing up. So let's finish them up.
Okay, so let's take a look at the finished product. Looks great. So I was using steel wool. I think it was like a quadruple zero. Um, and I was using extremely light pressure. So just to get any like little greasies off because it still has greasies on it. Well, it had greasies on it. So I don't know how well y'all could see this side because it's so close to the wall. But looks good. Little legs look good. He's looking pretty darn good. And we do have the shelves, but they are like really bad and they need to be hosed off before we kind of uh, clean it, clean it. Because, I don't know, it's just kind of like, you know, garage type debris on it. It's pretty, they're pretty icky. So like, look how clean this got. There's just a couple of like rusty areas, but it is getting re-enameled. So I'm not super worried about that. Just wanted to get it clean before we like take it down there to get re-enameled. You know, we don't want to send him something disgusting. So looks so much better. I cannot wait to be using this. I don't think that we'll end up using this as our like main refrigerator. I mean, it'll obviously be in the uh, the kitchen, but we'll probably just keep drinks in here. Maybe, you know, stuff that we're gonna use like right away. Um, bring stuff up for dinner or whatever just because it is small and I mean, it's not that small, but like the freezer, the freezer kind of comes down in here into this, into this space. So I just, you know, we're not gonna be able to get all of our groceries in here. So probably just be our little drink fridge for the most part and then have like a regular fridge down in the basement. So, so yeah, that's going to do it for today. And like I was saying, when I was at Home Depot, oh, my hair is crazy. Um, I got all those cleaning products, so probably this weekend I'm going to make like like take tape and make little spaces in the basement floor and try all the cleaning um, techniques everybody told me about. I need to go through the comments and look again because I know people were definitely saying magic erasers. A lot of people were saying TSP um, and uh, like a deck scrubber, which I did get. So I need to go look again. I didn't see like when I was looking around, nothing jumped out at me as like things that people were mentioning. So I might need to go. Um, somewhere else to find more specialized items. So yeah, and uh, so today is Tuesday. So um, I don't know if y'all saw my post that I made about um, getting a schedule going, just so y'all know when I'm gonna be posting because it's always kind of kind of random, depending on how long I have to edit something. If it goes up easily, it's too late at night, I don't wanna post it. So I'm gonna try to do Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday evenings. Um, that would be easy for me also be consistent for y'all so you know when to look out for a video and also um, give myself a little bit more time to edit. So like the video that I film on Saturday, I can edit that night and then the rest like finish it on Sunday night and put it up that night. Um, the video that I film on Sunday, I can get um, up on Tuesday night and then the video that I film on Wednesday because it's my other day off, um, I can get up on Thursday night. So I think that works well, well for everybody and uh, I'm not trying to compete with anybody's, you know, Saturday night out or anything. So. Um, because it does matter, you know, how many people watch a video, like, right when it goes up. Um, if your video doesn't get a lot of views right away, they kind of, like, put you down in the algorithm. So, YouTube is a difficult game, I'm going to tell y'all. <laughs> it's hard to figure it out. So, um, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you uh, later this week, okay? Take care. Bye.